Telefonica, Deutsche Telekom and Orange have all have something to be proud of these days. Orange has rolled out FTTH to more people than we could have ever expected in Spain. And now in Spain, you can get very good fiber in almost every town and location. And Telefonica has made that, that possible. Orange, challenged by some operators in France, delivers great FTTH these days and has interesting services on their boxes and stuff, you know, like good hardware. Deutsche Telekom still provides a lot of Germany with good and reliable internet with, you know, these days also very good modems and stuff and, and could achieve a lot more if it, if it wanted to. That's where you should focus. Not that somehow somebody somewhere is making money over your internet. It's like being annoyed at a lawyer that he makes 400 euro, uh, you know, 400 euros an hour when you charge him like five euros an hour for a phone call in the past. It's, it's a different world, you know, that they just let them do their stuff, let you do your stuff. And if you then look at the revenues each of them makes and how stable they are, there's not a European that will give up their broadband connection. They will first cut down their food shoppings and everything else, basically, before they will give up their broadband connection. How? If you're that high in a Maslow pyramid, of, of, or that low, I don't know anymore, if that's that basic, provided and with pride, and, you know, let all the other people worry about their things. But people will first cut Netflix before they cut Deutsche Telekom.